Senate Bill 216 had its first committee hearing in the House on Friday. Supporters and opponents of the bill painted a very different picture of the effects it would have on people attempting to sue over defective products. I think it's ultimately about, about restoring a little bit more fairness and balance into the, into the process. We would be an outlier if Senate Bill 216 was passed. SB 216 is sponsored by Republican Senator Steve Fitzpatrick, the Senate Majority Leader and an attorney from Great Falls. It drew support Friday from several business representatives. SB 216 would add defenses that manufacturers could claim if they're sued for damages, including that a government agency approved the product or that it was first sold at least 10 years ago. I think the idea is, is that after 10 years, there's been such there's been conditions, there's been changes that it's it's unreasonable to assume that the product is going to work as well as it did on the day you bought it. In most cases, it would also prevent a suit against a retailer who simply sold a product and didn't have any other connection to it. It just drives up costs for small businesses, and it really is unfair when you think about it. Opponents to the bill included trial lawyers, unions, and people like Todd Copenhaver, who sued after suffering an injury. It just doesn't make sense to change it to save a corporation. It makes it sense to keep it to save the consumer, the people that use it. Al Smith, executive director of the Montana Trial Lawyers Association, said the change would make it much harder for people to hold out-of-state companies responsible. I think that we want to have a court system that's open to all people for all injuries. Um, otherwise, you know, what, what's the point of having the courts if the people can't access them? Smith said retailers are sometimes added to cases when they have trouble identifying the manufacturer, but they're not typically the ones who pay significant damages. Fitzpatrick argued retailers are brought in because it makes it easier to bring a case in state court instead of federal court. SB 216 passed the Senate last month 33 to 17 on a mostly party line vote. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.